yes is about australia permanent resident visa in today's video we are going to discuss three different permanent resident visa that is pr visa in australia okay because some people are telling me now they are confused when these videos are done one 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 and they don't know which one they are qualified for so i said let me bring these three most popular pr visas and discuss their requirements their eligibilities and how to apply and for you to know which one are you qualified for okay if this sounds like something you want to hear please sit back and let's dig in welcome to my channel jenkins creation where we keep it true thank you my subscribers you guys rock and if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel and become a member of this beautiful community where we keep it real yes more good news are coming more people are relocating to australia our kangaroo is saying welcome we are ready to welcome you please do like my video and share if you can thank you and let's dig in all right so the three visa the most popular pr visa in australia are visa 189 visa 190 and visa 191 visa 189 is called skilled independent visa subclass 189 in case you want to search it it is a skilled independent visa highly skilled independent visa you do not need a job offer you do not need any employer to sponsor you and you can apply for this visa from anywhere in the world this visa also has a stream for new zealand passport holders and hong kong passport holders however i will be concentrating on the stream for invited skilled workers okay that is from people from anywhere in the world and it is called point tested stream subclass 189 another popular pr visa is subclass 190 skilled nominated visa so this visa through this visa states and territories in australia invite workers to come over to australia and live permanently you do not need to be in australia to apply for this so it can be from someone from anywhere in the world or someone living in australia depending okay some states will warrant you to have job offer or some will say don't have job offer as long as you meet the criteria let me remind you that this visa is my family visa visa 190 i've made video previously about this visa my family came to australia as permanent resident via visa 190 yes it's possible the next visa is visa 191 which is a permanent resident skill regional visa okay for you to apply for this visa you must be in australia and be a holder of certain temporary visa such as visa 494 which is employer nominated visa or 491 which is regional nominated visa i've made a lot of videos about these two type of visas okay 491 some region may not want you to have any job offer you just need to meet the requirements okay now visa 191 permanent resident visa does not require any income proof all they want you to show is that you have worked at least for three years and you've done your tax return with australia tax office while you are holding temporary resident visa so you know visa 494 and 491 and so on a five years visa but after three years you'll be qualified for permanent resident 191 for visa 491 i've made numerous video about that but visa 494 i haven't made uh, any video on that visa 494 is employer regional sponsored visa that allow regional employers um to sponsor overseas trained workers to come over to regional australia and work okay 
all right visa 189 with this visa you can stay permanently in australia it's a permanent resident visa visa processing time is between five to eight months and this visa will cost you four thousand six hundred and forty australian dollars age limit for this visa is 45 years and younger and you must have competent english you must do skill assessment your skill must be under the skill occupation list for visa 186 you know when you um go to um list of skill occupation you will see all the visa attached to each occupation i've shared it here i will drop a link as well okay and the application for this visa is done online you can do it yourself however if you want to go and find agent it is still your choice um everything is done online and you just need to follow the process step by step there is a guide on immigration website that is home affairs website okay all right so for this visa you just need to express your interest via skill select link will be dropped so when you click that link you will see so many things okay when you express your interest the australian government will invite you to apply okay then you apply for the visa now about visa 190 permanent resident you stay in australia permanently you can be outside of australia to apply or inside of australia to apply um processing time is between 70 days to seven months okay it can happen quick it depends on so many things they state that once you they will call you immediately this is point tested it means that you have to acquire points via your education how many years of experience your level of english you are age and so on okay the higher your age the lesser the points you accumulate maximum age for this visa is 45 years so 45 years and younger as well did i just say older <laughs> no <laughs> i wish but there is another permanent resident visa where you can be older than 45 as well okay but for visa 190 you must be 45 or younger before you are invited to apply okay so you have to do skill assessment okay and then you express your interest via skill select make sure your occupation is in the occupation list and 190 is written by the side of it which means you are qualified for visa 190 and you will see you are assessing authority and you must do your skill assessment because when you do your expression of interest online you must notify that you have done your skill assessment this is way to check your point okay you can do your checkpoint before you even venture to see if you are qualified for this visa you must have at least 65 points and state or territory will invite you to apply some states may want you to have job offer some may not want to so it depends on the state check all the states in australia and the territories i've made videos on some states and territory in this channel i will attach link in the description section please look for them all right the last pr visa we are going to talk about is visa 191 i said a lot about this visa in the beginning so i will keep it short here all right so for you to qualify for visa 191 permanent visa you must be a holder of either visa 494 or visa 491 yes and you must have stayed in australia for at least three years before you apply okay so i've said a lot about it it does not have age limit and you do not need a certain uh, proof of income or what so all you need to do is that you must show a proof that you have worked for three years full time you've done your tax return with australia tax office and show a proof there is english requirement there is no skill assessment because you're already holding a temporary visa when you did your skill assessment okay so 
this visa is a guarantee for people that already have visa 494 and 491 that there is a feature for you in australia and if you're over 45 years you will still get this visa okay i told you most australian visa once they have a temporary visa there is a subsequent permanent resident visa for it okay so this is it for people that are worrying about so many things once you are in you are locked so remember i always say that once you are in in australia be it via student visa temporary visa you are locked okay there is always a way for you to get permanent resident visa all right so in this video today i have mentioned three famous permanent resident visa in australia visa 189 visa 190 both of these visas you can apply from outside of australia however for visa 191 you must be in australia to apply for rate okay there are so many benefits of permanent residents that is being a permanent resident of australia eh okay all right that brings us to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel like and share thank you bye